Yeah, I'll use the pig for that. The little piggy right. inside. I can't use a regular kidney for that. You won't know what it is. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, I just got a probe. Hey guys, short people. Okay. All right. Uh, who has their list out? Okay, right there. Okay. All right. Now, this is a kidney. Now, right here, when you see all this fatty type of material, all right, this hole here, mm -hmm. I can stick a probe in there, right? Mm -hmm. All right. That's the that's the ureter. Mm -hmm. That's the ureter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, that that'll be one pin. You'll see two pins that are adjacent to one another. All right. All right. You have a hole here. You see that hole there? Mm -hmm. And you see that hole here? Okay. All right. Now, the difference is in a renal vein. The renal veins, veins typically have a bigger lumen. A lumen is an opening in a structure. Right. You can tell which hole is bigger. It's obvious, right? The top? The top. This one is bigger oh, than this one, right? Okay. So when you see the two pins adjacent to one another, the one with the bigger hole, the bigger lumen is the renal vein, the vein. and the other guy is the renal artery, and the guy on top here that has even the biggest hole out of all three, right, is where the filtrate goes from the kidney to the bladder. That's the ureter itself. So we have ureter, bigger hole, renal artery, smaller hole, renal vein. renal vein. You guys follow that so far? Do it again. Ureter. Again, I'm not going to use this kidney. I'm going to use a different one because oh, these are kind of hacked up. Ureter. Right. And look at the picture. Look at the picture on. Um, right here. On, in your lab manual. Yeah. Thank you, Yvonne. All right. If you look at the picture in the lab manual, if you guys can see that, okay. Again, you'll have two pins next to each okay. other. Those are your two blood vessels. Mm -hmm. The one with the bigger lumen will be your renal vein. One with the smaller lumen will be your renal artery. And then with the biggest lumen out of all three, look, look, for the, look for the adipose tissue. That's the ureter itself. The ureter is composed of a lot of adipose tissues, you, you can see. three things so far? Mm -hmm. I just gave you three. Okay. Okay? All right. Now, also on your structure is the right and left kidney. We'll do the pigs in a second. I have to use a pig for that. I can't just throw this kidney out and say, is this the right or left kidney? <laughs> you won't right. get it right. That looks like the left So kidney. we'll do that in a second. All right. Now, also on your list are renal pyramids. They're shaped like pyramids like uh, in... Egypt, right? Okay. These things, guys, here, that's a pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. See the dark colored circles? Mm -hmm. Those are all pyramids, mm -hmm. right? Pyramid, 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 pyramid. Now, let's look. That was better for the uh, blood vessels, okay? But for the other internal structures, let's get, uh, stay at that last thing. Well, well, we can move over if you want. Uh, bring that one over? Yeah, bring it over, will you, Joni? Thank you. Stay <laughs> right. Because this one is not as good as hers. All right? All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, this is much better. Much better. Okay. So this is all adipose tissue, all this white stuff. That's all fat. Okay? These guys, these are the dark circled guys, they're sure to shape like pyramids. All right? These are all pyramids. Mm -hmm. All right? So if I put a pin here, 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 all the way around here, those are the renal pyramids. If you look at the colored picture, okay, Next to the renal pyramid, next to the renal pyramid, okay, is a structure called the renal papular. So I'm going to have a pin right about here in the middle of one of these pyramids, and you'll label it renal pyramid. I'll have a pin like right next to it, right next to it, like right about there, and that'll be the renal papular, okay? So those two go together like uh, eggs and bacon. So the papular will be more... Uh, uh, Between two pyramids. Uh, the papular is more medial, more medial. interior, if you will. Okay. All okay. right, renal papular and renal pyramid here. Do you guys follow that? Mm -hmm. yes. Again, those two guys go together. Now, how do you know? Uh, they both start with the letter P, mm -hmm. P and P, pyramid and papular. Okay, now, the fat in the renal sinus is in the middle, all right? Where you have most of your adipose tissue in the kidney is in the middle. You have it to the, to the peripheral here and here, but there's so much fat in here. Look at, look at how that's encased in mm -hmm. fat. That's the fat in the renal sinus. I'm going to pin right about in there, mm -hmm. and you'll put fat in renal sinus and get it right. Do you follow that? So That's you're talking about right in the middle of all the fat, basically. Right in the middle, yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now, the word cortex and medulla refers to what? Cortex refers to the outer Under. layer. Medulla, medulla refers medulla. to the inner layer. Mm -hmm. I'm simply going to have a pin right in here, right on the edge. That's the renal cortex. Okay? Am I going too fast? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have a pin a about a half an inch more towards the medial, more mm -hmm. towards interior. That'll be the renal medulla. Medulla. medulla is inner layer, cortex is outer layer. You'll see two pins there, cortex and medulla. Mm -hmm. Okay? So far so good? All right, yeah. now, if you look at your diagram, you also have the renal capsule. Think about a capsule on a medication vial. If you go to the pharmacy, you put it on top of the vial to protect the medication. It's an outer covering, right? Mm -hmm. If you look at the picture, the renal capsule is on the outer covering near the renal artery. So your blood vessels are out here. So I'm going to have a pin right about right here, 
and that'll be your renal capsule. capsule. It'll be closest to the ureter and closest to the two blood vessels. So when you see the two pins, one outer here and one outer here, this goes to the cortex. That's, that's that goes cool. with the renal capsule because it's closer to the two blood vessels. You follow that. Mm -hmm. And then a pin here will be the renal medulla. All right? Okay, so far so good. All right, uh, the helium of the kidney. Look at the picture. The helium of the kidney encompasses three structures, the renal artery, the renal vein, and the ureter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have a pin here, and I'm probably going to have a little white sticker on it. I'm going to have arrows going in both directions. Why arrows? Because it'll give you a clue that it contains three structures. Look at the diagram here, right? See, that, that could be an arrow there, that could mm. be an arrow there. So everything in between the arrows is your three structures. So I'm going to have a pin right about in there, have an arrow going up, an arrow going down. That contains your renal artery, renal vein, and your uh, ureter. That's the helium of the kidney. So we call it the helium, right? Heart. Well, you're going to say, you're going to use all the words on the list. You're going to write, where is it here? The helium of kidney. Right, you're going to write helium of kidney. You're going to use three words. Right. H-I-L-U-M of kidney and get that right. All right. Now, also okay. on your list, I'm going to put a pin right about in here uh -huh. with a sticker, and I'm going to have an arrow going here and an arrow going here, mm -hmm. and that will encompass the ureter, the renal artery, and the renal vein. It encompasses three structures. So when you see the two arrows, that will give you a clue. Yeah. All right. Now, also on your structure is called the renal column. When you see columns on somebody's porch, aren't they square-shaped? rectangular mm -hmm. shape. Mm -hmm. Well, look at the picture there. Look at the renal column. It's sort of square shaped. So I'll probably have a pin going like, um, oh, let's see. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, like probably more towards the outer edge, like right about in here. Like right about in here. Mm -hmm. That's probably where I'll put that's a pin. That's the column? Right, and that's the column, okay? Renal column. Uh, here, maybe like right about in here, but more so like right in here. Think of a square shaped structure column, and that'll be the renal column. Now, your major and minor calyx. The major calyx contains more adipose tissue, minor meaning it contains less. less adipose tissue. If you look at the picture, they're at opposite ends of the kidney. So I'll have major calyx probably somewhere out in here. Look how much more adipose tissue you have all in here, right, versus down here. Mm -hmm. So major calyx, more adipose tissue here, minor calyx, less adipose tissue down here. And they're at opposite ends. The major going to be at the top? I mean, can we... Well, look kind for more adipose that. tissue. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Look for more adipose tissue. Major calyx, minor calyx, okay? All right. Um, and I believe that's, that's it. Oh, the renal pelvis, okay? The renal pelvis, okay, if you look at that, it's also an internal structure in terms of being more or, lo more or less like the midpoint, okay? So if you can locate the fat in the renal sinus, the pin next to that will be the renal pelvis. I'm going to put a pin right in the adipose tissue. That's the fat. Right next to that will be the renal pelvis. Okay, this is your best study. The purpose. renal sinus? Mm -hmm. Renal pelvis. Is next to the renal sinus? The fat in the renal sinus is there, and okay. right next to that is your renal pelvis. Okay. So the renal okay. pelvis is going to be right next to the. So that's why I listed that diagram on your list of structures. That's mm -hmm. the best diagram for studying purposes. Mm -hmm. All right, any questions on that? All right, we still have to do course evaluations. We have 10 minutes. Oh, if we go man. to 315, that's fine. Let's go to the pig next really quickly. All right? Mm -hmm. I want to review those digestive and uh, respiratory.